Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a recreation of the Goblin from I think it's season 2 of Merlin. Uh, hands up if you're a Merlin fan out there. I loved it growing up. It was like my favourite show. Probably still is. To start off the look we are simply doing a block out of the brows. You can do that as in depth or as rough as you like. And to create the Goblin's gross green face I've created this uh, mix of brown, yellow and green face paint and then applied that everywhere. Just be careful around your brows. You don't want to mess up all the work you've just done. And after you're happy with the coverage of Everywhere Green, just uh, set it down with some translucent powder because it will move if you don't. Now I loved using this technique, it's actually one of those L'Oreal like hair retouch things and I use this everywhere. Like honestly it was like my contour, um, some speckles, I just love the look, I'm totally using this more often. To create more depth in the look I just grabbed a contouring shade under the eyes, did the jawline, blah -de blah all the normal spots. And then we're going to create a nice smoky eye, and by nice I mean the one you used to make in 7th grade and you thought you were a diva, which is totally fun. This is just as messy as you like. I just grabbed a cream face paint and went ham all over my eye area. <laughs> now I did try and do this like lines and like wrinkled thing, but ironically I didn't have enough guideline wrinkles to make this really work, which is such a silly thing. I wish I had more wrinkles. Um, but yes, you can totally do this or you can leave this out, it doesn't really matter. I think this look really ties in more towards the end when all the symbols and cool designs come in. I did think he was looking a little flat so I wanted to add some dimension so I grabbed this beautiful green shimmer shade from Juvia's Place and I just applied this highlighty area but then it sort of went everywhere because I really liked how it looked. Kind of made him look a bit more mystical and whimsical which is kind of, you know, it's a goblin. You're allowed to. The original uh, photo that I went off from Merlin, he was, had this beautiful triangular necklace pattern going around his neck so I did recreate that quite intensely and I loved how it turned out. It was very similar to the photo. And then uh, he had a couple of like Celtic designs, I guess they're Celtic, I'm not really sure on that one, but I did love them. So cover my shoulders, around my ears and face and then I did recreate to a point the design that he had on his forehead so it was like a moon but then it was a sun and then it was surrounded by a bigger moon uh look up the goblin he, he it's a good reference anyway if you haven't seen the show i grabbed the toothpaste to toothbrush with the old flicky flick of the black paint i did it around my eyes and mouth just be careful when doing this and that was pretty much it. I just applied some false um, little pointy ears, painted them in. I love this look. It was super fun. Uh, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this little goblin from Merlin. Have a beautiful day, night, or wherever you are, guys. Bye!